Nahi does a pretty cool character. She's an Archon, she touches grass, and she has the domain expansion. Plus, just look at her, she's so cute. Not like that, not like that. We're gonna farm the Deep Wood Memories and Gilded Dream set, but artifact grinding is just so boring. So, let's add some spice to it. I have enough resin for eight groups of five condensed resin, which would equal to about 10 artifacts per group. If I don't get at least two good artifacts in a group, I have to spend the punishment wheel, which now includes ideas from you guys, like fighting the Ruin Hunter with Electro Goku, catching 100 fish, reading an entire book series in Mondstadt, among many other horrible suggestions. Now, what do I consider to be a good artifact? Something that hits crit rate or crit damage damage twice. But I mean, out of 80 artifacts, that shouldn't be too hard to come across. Right? First one down, let's see what we get. Of course. Nope. Alright, so we got a potential one. Nope. Damn it! Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Come on! Ha <laughs> ha! Something decent. Something and we can potentially be safe. This is a maybe. That is not. All right, so I believe there are only two good pieces. This is the first sign. Is this going to be a good artifact? Probably not, but we got to hit it to eight to find out. You got to be kidding me. What the hell? I'm going to go to 12. <laughs> this one has to get crit damage. It has to. Please, please, please don't be anything bad. Uh, I'm not a lore YouTuber. I don't even read regular books. Start of the second batch. Come on, first one, give us something good. You gotta do it to us. Come on. Maybe if I'm nice to them, they'll give me a good artifact. Boyoverse, you're such a great company. I'm so happy that you're not adding endgame. Thank you so much for these, uh potentially all right artifacts. Oh, uh, yeah. That seemed to maybe have worked. Let's go, Hoyoverse. Yeah. Woo. I'm smelling what you're cooking. You cook some dog shit. Damn, that was, that was horrible. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something good. Something real good. Ooh, maybe. The last one for this batch. I know it's got to be something good if it's the last one. It just has to. I mean, there's perfect correlation. Yeah. No. Maybe. Okay. Crit damage? Okay. You smell that? <laughs> I smell potential. Let's see if this will work. But I mean, it's not like we're gonna get a 5x enhancement bonus right here, right now. Close. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> well, it hit twice, so this is... Yeah, this is already technically a good artifact. I just need one more from this entire batch. There we go. I think we might have found a flower. I'm gonna close my eyes for this one. RNG? You know what to do. And that's what I'm talking about. A fucking amazing piece. What the hell? All right, Oilverse, you know what to do. There's no fucking, might not be great on Nahida, but it just could be a good piece in general. <gasps> Yo! All right, Oilverse, are you eating what I'm shitting? Not exactly, but you might get a little bit of the spirit. We get a hit into any of the crit rates or crit damages. This will be a good piece. Ugh. What a good uh, crit rate to crit damage ratio. Yeah, 7 to 84. That's um, a ratio. I'm closing my eyes. I, I don't even want to know. Just don't be walking. Just don't be walking. Yeah. We're going for the uh, any percent glitchless speed run. Let's go. Uh, control V in the search bar. This is a huge skip. And that easy. Like taking candy from a baby. Third batch, group one. Nope, that's going to be a last resort. That's an off piece waiting to happen. Spring forward. I hear everything. One with the bars. <clears throat> that would give a medieval peasant a stroke. Potential. Potential. Nope. Ooh. Yo, yo, what the hell? I'm actually getting good stuff. All right, last one. Will it be as good as the rest? All right, it could be worse. Uh, nope. W why? Okay, let's go. 
Booyah, baby. All right, what else? 2X? You're really gonna make me do this? Of course, yeah, it's, it was inevitable. This is still a decent piece. This one can't go wrong. It literally can't. Come on, just show me what I want. That, that, that's not what I wanted. Poilverse, you know what to do. Poilverse, you know what to do. I mean, that, that, yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, so, we're safe. This is a good piece. 2X, that's what I like to see. And that's what I love to see. Booyah, baby. All right, let's go. We are safe. Yo, what? Four? And they're all ass. What? Nope. Nope. We're back to normal. Think you can get away? Think you can get away. Gah. Germinate. Time for takeoff. Time for takeoff. I need something good. There's something, all right. The big question. Nope, potential. Either way, we're gonna have to spin because I think this is like literally the only good artifact. Ooh, a 5X and a crit rate. <laughs> you're too kind to me. Never mind, you're a bunch of meanie heads. So for these next two, it has to get crit. Yeah. Please, 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 please don't be walking. Please don't be walking. Please don't be walking. Not again. Not again. <sighs> Well, we're gonna have to wait this one out because that's what the wheel told me to do since I can't get any good artifacts today. I'll see you all in that many seconds. I gotta take this one off the wheel. Grab the knife, I swear. Ooh, boom, shako. That's literally useless for her. <laughs> Damn. We're really min-maxing the three-star artifacts. All for an attack buff. Another energy recharge. That hurts looking at so much. Maybe I can get some crit rate. Or not. Yeah, this is about what I thought would have happened. Your last chance. All right, that's, it's not your last chance. You get one more shot to impress me. Oilverse, you know what to do. Ah! Crit damage. No wonder this game is dying. <sighs> Ow! Uh, don't. <laughs> uh, yep, we got the dull blade. 2 piece exile, 2 piece scholar. 14 to 70 crit rate, crit damage. Oh, is it raining? If it's raining, this is huge. Let's go. That's a free reaction. <laughs> you see that damage? That, yeah, 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 that hit me. Take this. Take this. Uh-huh. Not this, hold up. Hit him. Is that gonna knock him down? Hold up, stay right there. Oh, it hit him, but it didn't knock him down. What the fuck? Come on, couple more seconds. Hit him. You're aiming at the wrong person, idiot. Remember, Rocky wins yeah. in the sequel. Come on, punk bitch. Yes, yeah, what I thought you missed. Yeah. <gasps> Bellowing Thunder! Oh, this is our moment. Yep, this is the sequel. Oh, damn! What happened, Royal Hunter? Yeah! Punk bitch! This is gonna be an amazing artifact. This one right here. I meant this one. Um, I meant this one too. This one also. Yeah! My bad, I got it confused with this one. No, I meant this one. See, this is the one I was talking about. That could have been really bad. But what's not going to be bad are these artifacts right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, this is a hard copium because it might get damage. But I mean, it's not like we're going to get crit damage on this. There's just no chance. <laughs> uh. All we need is faith, trust, and pixie dust. And apparently that's not enough to fix this shitty game. All right, Hoyaverse, this is your last chance. Are you smelling what the rock is cooking? Oh, 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 I didn't even realize I went up to 10. Woo! 
Oh yeah, we got one on the board. All of my good pieces are flowers. Don't be walking, 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 don't be walking. No, no, no! There are the rules. No sprinting, no uh, speed swimming, no jumping while climbing. Uh, that's basically the gist of it. I can't believe I've had to walk right three now, times now. Let me just start the timer tree. and we're off. Yeah. Give me something good. <laughs> oh. Hey, Hoyoverse, how about you do me a favor and uh, fuck off? It's always the flowers. <laughs> Can I please get any other type of artifact that can be decent? Hoyoverse, if you give me good artifacts, you'll uh, you'll be a good company. <laughs> Damn, stay shit. I'm just trying to help you guys. There it is. Last one of this group. <coughs> Time. I'm going to sleep. All right, Hoyoverse, you're up to bat. Ball one, and you missed. You didn't even try. Strike one. All right, Hoyoverse, the second ball's coming. Home runner strike. You are missing horribly. This one's already lost, but we'll still give you a shot, kid. All right, Hoyoverse, this is your last chance up to bat. And strike three. You're done. Out of the team. You're never playing this sport again. Show me the money. All right. You're cooking a little bit. You're cooking a little bit. You're not cooking anymore. We believe in second chances out here. For that reason, we got one on the board. It, it literally can't get any worse. This, this, this is also horrible. We're gonna swap you to a physical build. This is what we're rocking. 40 to 92 crit rate crit damage. We got two piece pale flame, two piece blood stained. And I have all of his talents leveled, except for his auto attacks. Yay. This yeah. is, yeah. yeah. And they're the Hydra ones, so they keep healing each other. Yeah, I, I actually don't think I can fight these. Yeah. Oh my, oh my. That's one. Please. Let's go. Like taking candy from a baby. Number four, your time has come. And for the last one, I'm gonna swap to my original build, Cinnamon Spindle. Come over to me, come over to me, come up. No, 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 no. Come, move, move, I made Let's go. What the hell? Yes, finally, the non Hydro Spectres. Yes! Five! Here it is. The double HP artifacts. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the last resin, Tainari. You will live on with these artifacts. Another fucking flower. I didn't even realize I got an onset dendro piece. Probably because I was too distracted from the complete garbage substats. It's energy recharge and flowers that have been the only things I've gotten today. This game sucks. This game's pretty good. All right, this is your last shot. As good as it's gonna get, so enjoy it. I had to give you a career to destroy it. On, I, honestly, that's just poetic. I'm beaten, battered, and sad. There's nothing more you can do to me. I always knew this day would come. I just didn't want it to. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say... I am. Aloy, it's your time to shine. I've already farmed your materials. Let's just get this over with. Feels like we're making progress, but we can't stop now. I, I really wish I could stop now. Getting better. No matter how... My bow is yours. Now and always. It can be mine. I'm still not gonna use it. Level 90. I'm still not gonna use her. Literally the only positive was me getting three wishes. But I mean, it's not like we're gonna get a five star in any of these standard wishes pools. Uh, at least give me the debate club. Can't even do that. I think the only book series I have is the Ancient Investigation Journal, parts one, two, and three. I think that's all of them. Oh, it's a JoJo reference. That's cool. <sighs> Here we go. The weather remains inclement today. Although the snow and wind are beginning to subside, 
one is hard pressed to keep their eyes open when faced with the occasional gusts that still whip up. Such conditions bring to mind an ancient verse, where wind and snow are likened by the poet to the lashes of a pale iron sword. But as Master Landrick once said, one must press on, no matter the difficulties met along the way. We must return to Mondstadt, bearing great achievements. Only then will I live up to Master Landrick's only then will I live up to Master Landrick's expectations and bring honor to my family's name. And only then will the arrogance of those who conspire to rebel be put to rest once and for all. Based on an inscription, we decided to abandon our original plans of exploring the cellar in the southwestern ruins in favor of going to a locked secret chamber. According to the inscription text deciphered by Master Herberhart, the chamber should contain impressive ancient frescoes along with the weapons forged from Star Silver. If that's the case, this could easily be the most significant archaeological discovery in decades. That's what Master Ingbert said, at least. But somehow, my heart still can't forget the companions we lost in the snowstorm just days before. I sincerely hope that Master Herberhart was right when he said that they were fuck when he said that they were aristocratic children, rigorously trained from childhood, and perfectly capable of making their way to camp on their own. We shall soon set off from South Base Camp to delve further into the inner reaches of the ruins. This time, it is imperative that we closely examine the stability of the ruins before we enter. I'm gonna read this part extremely southern. I apologize in advance. Due to the tragedy that befell us previously, I fear that my prior journal entries are now all but lost. It is most unfortunate that the investigation notes were lost, but the conditions here are truly dangerous. Alas, we were unable to budge those great doors. In the end, we returned to empty-handed with no sight of the fresco or the ancient weapons which Master Ingbert so greatly desired to see. Upon returning to South Base Camp, there was still no sign of the others who had gone missing in the snowstorm. Although, the chance may be a slim one, we can only hope that they made it down the mountain and are now returning with more help and supplies. It certainly won't be long before our remaining supplies run out. As cruel as it may seem to say such a thing, the cave-in that occurred just before the round door of the secret room not only robbed us of Nick, but also the food and fuel he was carrying. I said that it is imperative we first check the structural integrity of these ruins. I clearly remember telling him that. Perhaps the streak of unfortunate incidents we've encountered in the past few days has caused me to turn better. Or perhaps this is simply the natural toll such desperate conditions take on people. The fact that Master Herberhart could maintain a level head, even in the face of such adverse conditions, only made him all the more admirable. Perhaps this is the true tenacity of a young aristocrat. Master Langritz's judgment seems to have been well-founded. Even as an illegitimate child, <laughs> He is quite capable of living up to the role of an aristocrat. More so than most other aristocrats, in fact. When the storm eases a little, we will proceed to the cellar in the southwestern ruins as Herberhart's proposal. Based on the content of what he deciphered, there may be something very ancient within. The sheer cold of this place has the peculiarity and incomprehensible effect of preserving things the way they are. We must not let down the companions we lost. And more importantly, we must not let Master Landrix down. Otherwise, I will most likely be facing off against monsters in this gladi gladiatorial air arena before too long. Even if I beat the monsters, I would probably share the fate of Herberhart's slave and meet my demise at the sword of the red-haired reaper of the Lawrence clan. Does the history of this place make the scenery look bleaker? Or is the bleakness of the scenery irresponsible for its grim history in the first place? Could it be that I'm only having these thoughts because of all that has happened during this investigation? Or perhaps I'm starting to lose my wits due to the blood loss and the sheer cold. Whatever the answer, one thing I'm fairly certain of is that this will be my last journal entry. Thank God! In the end, Herberhart's plan failed. In fact, no, I think he succeeded. Yeah, I'll read this like, <laughs> I'll read this like an internet cool guy. In hindsight, his actions are all too clear. I'm surprised none of us saw what he was doing. And now that I think about it, I fear that the companions we have been separated from along the way will have already fallen victims to his treachery. The cave in front of the secret room with the round door was surely all part of his plan. Only at the very end, when he led Master Ingbert and me into the cellar in the southwestern ruins and took out his polearm, did I finally understand. His talk of a lost civilization buried beneath the snow and a power descended from the heavens were just a means to an end. He knew Ingbert loved the idea of exploration and adventure, and he used this to lure him to a deserted place where no one would be able to help him. When all is said and done, this all comes this all comes down to him being an illegitimate child. What the fuck? 
The pole arm is an inelegant weapon, unbecoming of an aristocrat. I wonder if he secretly trained to use this for the sole purpose of killing his master here. Clearing one more obstacle from his path towards Dom- to Clearing one more obstacle from his path towards dominion over the clan. Now I think about it, Master Parsifal's disobedience, love of chivalric play acting, and eventual departure must surely have been encouraged by him behind the scenes. The image of Ingber being struck by his polearm is one I shall never be able to get out of my head. But none of us saw beyond the kind and gentle facade to the monster he was inside. Landris was already planning to bestow the clan name upon him after returning from the investigation anyway. Maybe, maybe if he'd known of his plans, things would never have turned out this way. Or perhaps, he did already know of his plans, and that was precisely what prompted him to take this opportunity to move himself one step closer to the front in the line of succession. I'm sorry, Priscilla, for I will not make it back to Mondstadt. Whoever reads this, please warn Landrick. Eberhard is badly injured too, but there is still a chance he will make it back to Mondstadt. And if that happens, there will only be one more obstacle left for him on his road to revolt. I, that, that was awful. Whoever suggested this, I hope you spend five minutes looking for your phone. Tell me why I